People often ask me, what does it take to make a good portrait? I'm Kevin Abosh, and photography has been an important part of my life for at least the last 30 years. With portrait photography, one has the potential to create images charged with an intimacy and depth that connect us to the subjects we shoot. When we speak of portrait photography, we usually think of the subjects as being people, but I use the term broadly to refer to any subject we focus on with the intention of creating intimacy. With portrait photography, you can discover and reveal a new facet of a close friend, a relative, or just someone you bump into on the street. There is no secret to shooting a good portrait. In fact, I prefer not to speak in terms of good and bad. What really matters is that you are happy with your own results. Figuring out what works for you takes time and lots of trial and error. There tends to be a consensus, however, around what people find desirable. Technically speaking, photography is about light the source of the light, how it hits your subject, and how the reflected light reaches the camera. Having an understanding of this, and even how to control lighting, will have a profound effect on your images. It can mean the difference between a well-lit subject and a subject so dark it becomes a silhouette. Where's the sun in the sky? Is it midday and up so high that it casts deep shadows under the eyes and nose? Maybe that's what you want. Or you might want to avoid the sun altogether and bring your subject into the shade. Yes, by all means, place your subject in the light that helps you achieve the look you're going for. Might sound like common sense, but as my father used to say, common sense isn't very common. With portrait photography, it can take a bit of time to get all the elements just right. 